What's going on, guys? On this episode of On The Set, I'm checking out Chronicle, the found footage superhero movie. So, let's get into it. The film starts off in Seattle with Andrew, a kid who constantly gets bullied at school and also by his abusive father at home, all while his mother is battling cancer. The only person that seems to treat Andrew like a human being is his cousin, Matt. One day, Matt's girlfriend, Casey, inspires Andrew to buy a camera, and he starts filming his daily life. Later on, Matt takes Andrew to a huge party being held in a barn out in the middle of nowhere. He hopes to have Andrew mingle a little bit, so he brings the camera with him, but it causes some problems at the party, causing him to leave. Andrew is then approached by Steve, a popular kid at their high school. He asks Andrew to film a weird hole he and Matt found out in the woods. So the three of them go to find it. They go down the hole that leads to a glowing blue crystal deep underground. Then, the camera starts to malfunction and they pass out. Sometime later, the three of them develop superpowers like flight and telekinesis. They go back to the hole for answers, but it's been closed up by the police. So then, they start to have fun with their powers and do pranks to different people. It's all fun and games until Andrew forces the car off the road into a nearby pond. They manage to save the driver, but it's clear they need to establish some boundaries. Then, they vow to fly around the world together after they graduate. A while later, the school is having a talent show. Andrew uses his powers during a magic act, which makes him somewhat popular. That night, they attend a house party where Andrew almost hooks up with a girl, but instead, he throws up on her. Yep, I've been there a few times. Steve tries to console him, but it doesn't work. Things start to boil over as he returns home and gets yelled at by his father about the party that he attended. In a rage, Andrew attacks his father and leaves, just as a thunderstorm is approaching. So Andrew flies up into the storm to get away, and Steve follows, hoping to console him yet again. But this time, Steve gets struck by lightning and dies. Then, Matt confronts Andrew about what happened, and Andrew takes no responsibility for it. He begins to get bullied yet again at school, and rips the teeth right out of a guy's mouth. After that, Andrew starts to view himself as an apex predator, and views everyone else beneath him. As his parents can't afford the medication for his mother's cancer, Andrew robs a gas station and accidentally blows up some propane tanks, getting severely burned. Then, Andrew's father visits him in the hospital just to tell him that his mother passed away, and he becomes enraged, causing a huge explosion at the hospital. Matt sees a report about it on the news and goes to confront Andrew. But by this point, he's mad with power. The police show up to have a standoff against them, and Andrew decimates them and their vehicles. Matt arrives and tries to reason with Andrew, but when it proves ineffective, he kills him with a spear from a nearby statue. And then, Matt flies away as more police show up. A bit later on, Matt goes to Tibet, where Andrew mentioned wanting to visit earlier in the movie. He sets a camera up and points it at a monastery before flying away. The end. Yeah, this one's pretty great. A lot of people aren't fans of the director, Josh Trank, just because of how he handled the Fantastic Four. But this one was really good. The crystal they found underground was actually a sentient alien, which they don't really mention in the movie. And how it gave them all powers was pretty cool. It just sucks that Steve had to die, though. But honestly, if it were me, I would have become an Andrew for sure. I know the power would go straight to my head. But, you know, he did have a lot of trauma and abuse from his mother's situation and the father and all that other stuff. So maybe he was the last person we needed to get superpowers. Alright guys, go check this one out for yourself, and I'll see you later.